Good Domin- morning. Dominica? How are you? Very good, dear. Have we ever talked? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. But you know what, though? We, uh, I grew up in uh, South Carolina, so we're oh. Carolina girls. So. Oh, my goodness. Well, I was just in Dallas twice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I think you were on one of the local stations here. I think I saw you. Yeah, I went, I went out for a Barbara Bush literacy event with nice. other authors, and then I was out with the, um, uh, at a big, big church. Uh-huh. And I had a great time. I love Dallas. Yeah, it's a great place, isn't it? Where mm-hmm. are you now, in New York? Right now, I'm on tour, and I'm in Philadelphia. Oh, Philly. Do you like Philly? You know what? I have been through Philly. I haven't stopped enough to hunt. I haven't hung out enough, but I love the his. I just love historical old cities. Me you know? too. It's beautiful here. I know. It's wonderful. And I tell you what, you know what I did? I saw you one morning on CBS this morning, and I uh-huh. have to say that I thought that you were just going to break poor Hannah Storm's heart because this is the final book <laughs> in, the ep- in the Mitford book series. <laughs> How many people are crying, Jan? Well, if you are, but I'm telling you, and as much as I love them, they're just going to have to get over it because I just don't have anything else to say about Mitford. And as I've said to others, I could continue writing about Mitford, mm-hmm. but it would not be with a full and sincere heart. Right. And one of the reasons people love my books is because that's how they're written, with right. a full and sincere heart. And so this is it, Light from Heaven. It's going to wrap it up, give some answers to some questions that people have had. And, uh, and you're about to pursue something new, right? You're going to yes. take it in a whole new direction. Yes, yes. I'm going to write another series. Uh, the first book is coming out in 2007. And interestingly, and I hope this is some comfort, mm-hmm. I'm going to keep Father Tim as a main character. Well, um, people, people are so into him. Like that would just, you know... Yeah, he's just, losing somebody like that in their lives would just really upset people. Oh, he's just a good guy. And I'm going, we're going to travel. Mm-hmm. Uh, Father Tim is going back in the first book in that series to Holly Springs, Mississippi, which is his um, birthplace. And mm-hmm. he's got some very old, painful issues to resolve. And I'm very excited about writing that book, meeting some of the people who meant something to him earlier on. And then we're going to Ireland, and he's going to dig around in his ancestral history because, of course, he is Irish. Uh And then we're going to England, and that series will be done. And if God lets me live, I'm going to write a big book, um, historical, uh, about the building of a mid-18th century manor house in Virginia. Oh, wow. Yeah, because there's so much history there. I mean, all along the East Coast there, but in Virginia, it's just amazing. Oh, yeah. You know, it's where the birth, you know, one of the beginnings of America. That's right. Oh, you are a history buff, I can tell. (laughs) Hello, Navy brat. So I got to live in Virginia and South Carolina and, you know, do all that stuff and everything. (laughs) And then, of course, I came from the veil of humility between Virginia and South Carolina. (laughs) Oh, I love North Carolina. I worked briefly in Asheville, so uh, oh. I love North Carolina. It's just gorgeous. So, but now let me ask you this: uh-huh. after after spending this much time with these characters, uh-huh. was there a sense of loss? When I mean, did you feel kind of sad when you finished this book? I honestly didn't. But if I'd quit too soon, even a moment too soon, right. I would have felt that sense of loss. But the timing was absolutely perfect. It was God's timing for these books. Right. It's not just my deal, you know. These are his books. Right, because you're inspired. That's your inspiration. Absolutely. And so so how how then you felt good then when you were completing it then? I did. I felt good. It was a big book, though. I mean, uh, I had to wrestle with this book. Yeah. Because there are more than 700 characters we've met in the Mitford series. Mm -hmm. And I was adding, not only tying up uh, old threads from, from Mitford, but adding a whole new community of people up on the ridge above Mitford. So it was it was a job of work, as we say in the mountains. Right. So now, uh, going on to the new adventure, are you going to have like a new style of writing, or are you going to prepare for this in a different way? How are you I gonna, don't know. How, but are gonna a... get, how are you going to mentally prepare for a whole new series? That's, that's a wonderful question. I love that question, and I really don't know how to answer it yet. I know that it's going to be, because we're going to be on other turf, it's going to feel fresh, I don't know whether there will be another style, whether I'll have another voice for it or not. I won't know until I start doing it. Well, I just think that I'm excited for you. Thank because you. You have enthusiasm for it. And, you know, I mean, come on. You've, you've given people a lot with this series. And so now I'm excited to see what's going to happen next for you. So I like the way you think. 
<laughs> uh, you know what? I, I have moved around a lot. Change is a part of my life, and I believe that change is only, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. people have to get used to change, you know, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. that's the only way you can prepare for new blessings to come your way. So. Amen. Well, Jean Karen, it was great chatting with you. Good to chat with you, too, my dear. Much luck, and even though I know that you, you're completely blessed, you really don't need luck. You can just keep going the way that you're going. But thank you so much for joining us today on 96.3. Thank KC. you, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. Anyway, Bye-bye. Good luck, all right? I'll talk to you.